Hey everybody, welcome back to the Photog Experience. And on today's episode, we have some amazing new products to go over. But one thing that's super exciting is I'm here on State Street in Bristol, Virginia and Tennessee. I'm actually on the state line and they have a festival going on right now here in the heart of Bristol called Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. And it is full of, I don't even know how many stages, probably around 20 to 30 different stages, music all the time, and it's super amazing. You can actually probably hear some of the sounds right now. Um, as of right now, I have no mic, um, so this is straight um, audio from the onboard mic of my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I'm checking to tell you on a tripod with my gimbal. But I'm gonna go around here and I'm going to um, be testing out some brand new products for you all. And this is gonna be a two-parter. So make sure if you're watching this one, this is for a microphone and I'll disclose that microphone in a second. But I also have a lens, which is really, really cool. Now, both of these products were sent to me from Movo to test, review them for you. They didn't pay me to say any of this. They just sent me out the product to give you my full, honest review. And I'm super excited, so let's get started. And here on this channel, I like to give you practical advice on how to help improve your photography and videography and have some travel vlogs and check reviews started. So if this is something that you're interested in, please go ahead and consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Let's get to it. So one of the first products that I'm going to be reviewing for you all here at Bristol Northern Root is the Movo double mic system. Now this thing packs a punch and um, you've seen reviews on, my, on the VXR10 Pro, you've seen the reviews on the VXR10. Um, this basically combines the two into one microphone, which is amazing. So uh, I'm gonna go over in more detail a little later. Um, this band is about to start, as you can probably tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and change locations. All right, so found some shade and a pretty cool place to sit. Um, I think that'd be easier to kind of talk about the techie stuff of this mic. Um, now again, this is the Movo double mic. Um, on one side, it's basically virtually the VXR10 Pro and then the VXR10. Um, and basically what this is used for is whenever you typically use a shotgun mic um, when you're recording, um, it's very directional. So the front of the mic is where you're gonna get all of your sound. And then when you're behind the mic, you're not really going to hear anything. So it's not good for interviews. It's not good for anything that's kind of behind the camera. So if you're talking to somebody and the microphone is pointing towards you, then you're not going to hear the person on the other side of the mic. Um, unless you flip the camera around and point the microphone to them. This eliminates that. This is perfect for uh, really any type of dual talking video you want to make. Again, um, this is straight onboard microphone for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. There's no microphone attached to this just yet. Um, so I hope the audio turns out good. Um, but let's dive into like kind of the specs of what this is. So with the double mic, it is, it is considered a condenser mic with a super cardioid pattern. I'll go ahead and throw that up there. So you kind of figure out the pattern of which it gets its sound. The frequency response is 45 kilohertz through 18 kilohertz. And the sensitivity on the front is positive 32 dB all the way to negative 3 dB. And on the backs, positive 44 dB all the way to positive 3 dB. And it's only 2.4 ounces in weight. Like this thing is light. Now, what's really cool is I'll go over that, I'll go over this in more detail later, but there, um, there's different switches that you can use. There's different different switches that you can use for different modes, but it's good for your phone, it's good for your tablet, it's good for your DSLR, or any sort of camcorder that takes a 35 millimeter jack. Now let's go ahead and open it just a little bit. I'm not really gonna do an unboxing because I don't do that much, um, but I will kind of show you what comes in. And kind of what's different between all these. So again, here's the double mic. Now, one thing that is different with this mic is the cord is actually attached. So you don't have to worry about making sure the cord isn't correctly, the cord isn't good. All you have to do is make sure that this is plugged into your phone correctly. Um, and this is a TRRS cable. So you're gonna have, you're gonna need um, like a dongle of sorts to use it for any sort of iPhone device. Um, and on the back, you'll, go, you'll see front, rear, or front and rear. So 
um, when it's on the front, um, but it's on the front, only audio will come from the front. If it's on the rear, push that down, only audio will come from the rear. But if you put it on both, it'll read audio from both sides. Also, you'll see on there, there is an iPhone or mobile device setting and a DSLR setting. So if, I, if I'm gonna be using my phone, which I'm gonna be using, um, you want it on the phone setting or go down and put it on the DSLR setting. It also comes with a Rycote shock mount type thing. Um, that way you're not getting any clinking, clanking when you put this on or anything like that. It also comes with a carrying case. Movo is amazing with these carrying cases. They're branded, they're awesome. And they come with wind protection, like always. And they come with multiple different kinds. So you have your wet, your dead cat variety, basically. Just these foam shields. Um, basically, it's personal preference and how windy it is. It is relatively windy today, so I'm gonna be using the dead cat variety. Now, once I get to the actual audio test of the double mic, I'm gonna be using my Ulanzi um, tripod folding whatever. I don't know exactly what this is. Um, it's not a Gorilla Pod. Um, I have Gorilla Pods, but I've been using this uh, Yolanzi MT-11 for a little while now, and it is amazing. One, because it's it's real super flexible and you can get around anything. Um, but two, um, it has um, a quarter 20, so you can put any kind of camera you want on top, basically. Um, but it also has a phone clamp inside, um, built in already, so you don't have to have an extra phone clamp and it has a cold shoe mount, perfect for microphones and perfect for what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the mic ready. We're gonna set it up and we're gonna have some audio tests. Well, I'm now currently on the Movo double mic and it's good to get some actual audio, which is awesome. And one thing cool about this particular festival, there's people literally playing music everywhere. And what's really cool is there's a lot of local video, like local shops. Um, so if you're looking for any sort of, really any sort of knickknacks, we have uh, professional photographers, we have all sorts of different vendors here to purchase things. Like if you're wanting official Rhythm Roots uh, merchandise or anything like that, you got it. Now, one thing I'm excited to see with this particular mic is again, I haven't looked at any of this audio is how it's going to sound when I'm walking by all of these different musicians playing their thing. Okay, so the one up here is gonna be, um, I think, a good test to see just how well it works because it's only just one acoustic artist going right now. So there's not gonna be too much sound, too much big sound and too much reverb um, to get um, the sound that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and switch it to the double mic. Both mics are on right now. It's relatively loud the closer that I get, obviously, because I'm getting closer to the sound. So I just wonder how much of that sound you're gonna get over me. Um, they kind of stop. So I think they're kind of doing some sort of like sound check type thing. I'm not 100%. One thing I love about State Street and being here on State Street, because this is my home, um, I live here in Bristol. It's just a different architecture. Like this is our library. Um, it's relatively small compared, but like the just different buildings and history they have here, it's awesome. Okay, so vocal check. Vocal check. See how much you can hear him and me at the same time. He's way louder than I am, so I may have to come even closer, but I don't know. Just how good the audio is going to sound. So I'm going to switch it now just to the front, see what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm on just the front facing and see his audio check. He's still doing an audio check. The band that's about to go on here on the Piedmont Avenue stage. But I wonder what it sounds like now that the back microphone is off and it's just the front facing microphone. Um, they kind of stopped doing um, their audio check. So there's a guy right here with a piano that I want to do the audio test here as well, just to see what it sounds like. So right now, this is just the front facing mic on the Movo double mic. Now I'm gonna go switch it. All right, so here is with the double mic on. So you 
his mic is on and my mic is on, so I wonder if it is EQing it to where it, it kind of matches, because he is way louder than I am, obviously, because this is just my voice, um, but he has a full sound system, he has microphones and all of that stuff, so I'm just wondering how much is picking up him and of me at the same time and kind of merging them together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the audio test where it's just the rear-facing microphone and see if we can just hear him and none of me. So now I'm back to just the front-facing microphone. Again, I don't know how well this is going to be. I have not tested this mic fully yet, um, especially in this sort of setting. So I'm excited to see... Uh, once I take this home and bring it up on my computer, just how much and how good, how much you can hear and how good the quality is. So also another thing, as you're walking down the road or walking anywhere, you can do the, f the back facing uh, camera and just kind of walk and have the audio facing towards you as you're going. And as you can see here on State Street, there is a whole bunch of vendors, there is a whole bunch of uh, food and drink. Uh, most of these places, most of these bars, you have to be 21 and up to even get in the doors, which I think is a great, great thing. Um, it keeps the youngins out and it keeps everybody humble and it keeps everybody uh, nice and safe. But there is just so many different vendors and so many different, um, different shops that you can buy, just amazing things. And there's an actual whole food court area down here um, to where you have a you can get a whole bunch of different kinds of food. You can get exotic food like alligator. You can get home home cooked food. I mean, you can get literally anything. And one of my favorite things to get is either funnel cake or lemonade. I love it. So as I'm walking this way, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on both mics, um, front facing and rear facing, just to see what it sounds like. See what the audio quality is. So this is me walking down with the um, front facing and rear facing mic on as I'm walking by you can see all these beautiful things to purchase like art Let's walk this way and one really cool thing is there's a lot of side roads here and on all of these different side roads they have stages as well they have the vendors to purchase things from places to eat and one of the most important streets here on Moore Street slash 6th Street is the bathrooms. It is a full line of porta potties. Most important street here at Bristol Resorts. Again, the uh, double mic is on, so um, I have front facing and rear facing on as I'm walking down the road and as I'm talking. The microphone in the front um, facing me is probably about two, about two feet away, maybe a foot and a half away, um, just so that I can make sure that I get the proper audio quality um, so it doesn't seem like it's speaking or super, super loud. Hopefully not, because obviously I'm not listening to any of this audio right now. Okay, I found some shade to kind of do some compare audio. Um, right now I'm technically still on the, the Movo double mic, um, but I have with me the Movo VXR10 Pro. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch between the audio between the double mic, the VXR10 Pro, onboard microphone, so you can hear all the different um, styles of audio that you can get from these particular mics. Uh, I love this mic, the VXR10 Pro. It's been my go-to shotgun mic um, for really any any kind of audio that I need a shotgun mic for. Um, it, one thing I like about this, uh, sorry about my reflection, you can see my little setup, um, is it's kind of in a cove to where there's not a lot of sound going on besides just me. Um, and so again, this is just the front-facing microphone of the double mic. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to actually i don't have the mic plugged in so this is the onboard microphone of the iphone 11 pro max so let's go ahead and switch back into the movo double mic
rookie mistake. I forgot to plug the mic in. That happens. So now I have the Movo double mic plugged in. Um, it is the front facing mic, uh, so I don't have uh, the mix between the front and rear or just the rear. This is just the front facing microphone of the Movo double mic. So here is the onboard microphone, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is the audio quality that you get from it. Um, so there's no microphone hooked up to it at all. So let's see what it sounds like with the VXR10 Pro. So here is the audio quality with the Bobo VXR10 Pro. Again, my go-to shotgun mic for anything audio needing a shotgun mic. Um, my highlights are kind of blown out right now, so let's fix that. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the onboard microphone of the 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna go back to this, and then I'm going to switch size to where it's facing so I'm using the rear facing and then go from there. So back to the onboard microphone of the 11 Pro Max. Um, you can more than likely tell a huge difference between um, the onboard microphone and these two mics. You may not be able to tell a huge difference between the, the double mic, this is the double mic and the VXR10 Pro. And for size comparison, this is the, the new double mic from Movo and this is the VXR10 Pro, um, almost, the, the double mic is actually kind of smaller, so it may be equivalent to two VXR10s instead of VXR10 Pro. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'll have to dive into it a little more. So this is back to the uh, Movo double mic. Um, so now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home, listen to all of this, see what the different audio quality is for each of these different microphones, Check. and then I'm going to give my conclusion when I'm at home. Um, can't really listen to the audio quality because again I'm recording with an iPhone 11 Pro Max um, so once I take it home like I said I'm gonna look at everything listen to everything see what it sounds like and then give my opinion so go ahead and stay tuned yeah. all right hey everybody this is future Jonathan um, I've been able to look at the footage from the double mic um, kind of put everything together and I kind of want to give you an overview of what this mic sounded like um, I'm holding this because I'm actually using my uh, I'm using the double mic on my DSLR, my Canon uh, T5i, um, just to kind of see what it sounds like um, with it plugged into a DSLR instead of a phone. Um, and I have some pros and cons of this mic. Um, throughout the video, you probably heard um, some some different things that I'm going to mention. But first, I'm going to mention some of the pros about this particular mic. Made some notes on my phone. One second. Okay, so first pro is that it was, when the mic was on, it was clean and crisp audio. You can hear a huge difference between the onboard microphone of the 11 Pro Max and the Bovo double mic, which was amazing. Like, the, the audio was clear and precise. It's super lightweight. Um, it is super small, super compact, so you're not going to be to your whole vlog setup, it's not going to add a whole bunch of weight, uh, which is also a pretty amazing thing. Being able to be on any side of the camera is awesome. If you've used a shotgun mic before in your recording, your vlogging, um, and you notice like when you're talking to somebody else, you don't hear their audio, or if you turn the camera around to get a cool shot, you don't have the audio of yourself when you're talking. And so being able to just switch it um, right on top of the mic to either front facing, rear facing, or both together is very nice. You can stand on any side of the camera and it'll still pick your audio up, which is a good thing in my opinion. When the front facing mic was on, I loved the way it um, got the sound. With it being a super cardioid and uh, the pattern, the polar pattern that it has, um, it made it very nice to only grab the audio from me and not like the surrounding things around me like behind me and whatnot and so if you're not wanting that if you're not wanting the audio from behind you and you're wanting just the front facing audio for you it did such a good job the dynamic range of the mic was amazing um, i can get louder i can get softer and it still kept it pretty even um in some few instances uh, you'll see that in the you've already seen that in the video that if I got too loud, uh, it kind of peaked a little bit, I'll go over that in just a second. But uh, for the most part, the, the dynamic range of this mic is amazing. Uh, the mixing of the two audios was very nice. Um, it didn't overpower, one mic didn't overpower the other. Um, it kind of 
computationally like merged the audios very well um, when the person was playing the piano and I was talking um, they were much louder than I was but the audio together sounded really good which was was pleasing to the ear also another good thing about this is um, say you're having an interview and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a multiple mic setup so you're doing a podcast or you're doing an interview style um, really you only need one mic with the double mic set it up um, you can get two audio feeds from one mic which is pretty amazing because when you start getting into multiple mics and for a podcast system or anything like that it can be pretty expensive and so going to something like this it just makes it easier sometimes and good for your wallet um, switching between the modes is super easy it's right on the top um, right now I'm on the um, DSLR mode um, so there's two modes for that the DSLR mode and the mobile phone mode um, uh, this is on the DSLR mode because I'm on my DSLR um, but switching between the audio fee is going from front to rear to both is super easy it's literally just a switch of a button um, so the ease of use of this is awesome and I really like the attached cord um, I didn't know if I was gonna like that at the beginning but one issue I've had um, say with the VXR 10 is making sure you get it in the right area because if you're using the VXR 10 with a mobile phone um, one end is a TRS cable which goes into the mic and the other cable is using the TRS cable to go into your phone and if you don't do that right the audio just doesn't sound good it sounds weird it sounds funky um, so this eliminate this eliminates that you don't have to worry about making sure you put the right cord in the right area um, it's just pretty self-explanatory which is a very good thing especially for people like me so some of the cons of this mic um, my biggest issue is the wind reduction um, if there was a tiny breeze if there's any sort of wind at all the the wind reduction just didn't work especially if the double mic was on um, both sides um, if you saw um, it doesn't really show you on here. Um, I have this for reference. Um, if you saw um, the difference between the dead cat on the double mic and the dead cat on the pro, it's just a world of difference. The dead cat is so small compared to, um, say, the pro, and it's just it's not able to take away as much wind as you would like and. Okay, so sorry about the flop right there. My battery died, which is weird. Um, so back to the wind reduction. It it just wasn't good, um, especially when you have the two mic system operating. You have both mics going. Um, that's double the amount of wind noise in the the microphone. Um, it was it was not good. So if you're using this, make sure you're not in a very windy area or you're in indoors or, I mean, you can use it outside, obviously, but try to stay away from wind as much as possible. And if it is very windy, just stick to the one mic and uh, hope that the dead cat will, will be good for you. Uh, next thing is when you get too close to the mic, obviously um, it, uh, it peaked really bad. It made your audio jump up. Obviously, it's going to do that, but it'd be really nice to have a mic, a shotgun mic like this, um, auto DB to where if you get closer and it knows that you're getting closer because your voice is getting louder, it auto adjusts. Um, that'd be amazing. Um, obviously, on the DSLR, uh, I'm on the manual setting, so I've fixed the DBs, so you can't have that, but on a mobile phone, you should be able to have that. But if you got the mic too close to your face or anything like that, um, the audio started peaking like crazy. You saw that a few times in some of the footage. This was a pro earlier, but it also can be a con. Um, when you're switching between the modes on the double mic, you have to make sure you're on the right setting or it's not gonna work. So with this being my DSLR, I have to make sure that it's on the DSLR setting, not the mobile phone setting. Um, and it's on the front facing mic. Uh, it was on the back facing mic or double or whatever that I didn't want and um, you recorded your whole video that way it could 
potentially ruin your audio. So it's something that you have to be cautious about, something you have to be aware about, that you're on the right setting at all times. Um, it doesn't take much. Just think about it, look at it, double check, triple check, and uh, you should be fine. Um, but that is definitely one of the cons um, because it's another step that you have to think about while you're creating. Another thing, this isn't just a MOBO thing, this is a mainly big um, shotgun mic thing, um, is when you're using it with an iPhone, you have to use a dongle. Um, I, that's not a huge issue, um, but I've had to go out and purchase another dongle because I've lost mine, and those little things just get lost like crazy. So it would be amazing. These may be out there, but I haven't seen them. Um, amazing to where the 35 millimeter jack goes into like a lightning port for iPhone users um, have like a, a regular version and an iPhone version. Now that would take away from being able to use it for um, DSLR if the cord is built in, but I think a lot of people use this with mobile phones, um, especially with the iPhone 13 coming out. Um, I think iPhone videography and photos will, well, iPhone videography is going to be a huge thing. Um, it already kind of is. Especially for me, because that's kind of what I use. But um, getting a cord into a lightning port instead of having to use a dongle would save a world of hurt for me. Because I've, like I said, I've been recording and or went to go record, and I noticed that my dongle was gone, and I had to cancel my entire shoot to go purchase one, and then go from there. So, food for thought. Also, uh, my last con of this. As you can see, there's way more pros and cons, but the whole DSLR mobile phone button, um, I think that's kind of silly. I think that's weird. Um, you don't have that on Uvul. you don't have that on other shotgun mics. You don't even have it on their um, their VXR10 or VXR10 Pro. You should be able to just plug in and go. Um, I guess that's because where they have the TRS cable. Um, it's just, it's weird to me. I think that's not something that's necessary. Um, they could have used that for something else, that space. But, uh, I mean, it works. You just, and it's easy to use. You just click between the mobile phone and DSLR. But I just think it's silly, and I don't think that needs to happen. Um, I don't think it needs to be there. And sorry I keep looking up, but I'm looking up at the mic. Um... But yeah, this is my review of the, the Movo Double Mic. This is a very good mic. I'm very happy with it, very impressed with it, except, the, except for the whole wind reduction thing. Um, but the audio quality sounds good, it sounds crisp, it sounds clear. Uh, the dynamic range is just amazing. So if you're looking into a shotgun mic and you're wanting to do interview type uh, videos, or if you're wanting to have multiple people speak, or if you're wanting to do um, something that requires two mics, this is something that is amazing especially when you're vlogging and you're able to turn the camera around and not have to unhook the or screw the cold shoe mount turn it around and so forth and do that over and over this is something that you can use that for and it um it's good for something like that so that is my review of the movo double mic so here on the photog experience i like to give you practical advice on how to help improve your photography and videography skills with some travel vlogs and tech reviews thrown in. So if this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you want to go ahead and check out the Movo mic, I have a link down in the description below um, to one of my affiliate links with Movo. Um, they have some amazing products. They have not just this, but other things. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. They have amazing products. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a two-parter. So this is the very first part of this um review type thing that I'm doing for Movo. Um, I'm going to be reviewing another product, um, one of their lenses, in the next video. And I was at Rhythm Roots for that one as well. So make sure you go ahead and check that one out if you're wanting to step up your photography game. Y'all have a good day, and remember, keep creating.